Hey, what's up guys? This is Neo Shadow from Cartoon Universe, and today I'm going to take a closer look at Ladybug's upgraded powers. So the list itself has been out for a while, but since Cybern will be coming out next, I think it'd be a good time to really dive in to see what the deal with the powers is. In total, there are five upgrades, each with a different color scheme and use. Okay, so we have the Pearl of the Sea, the Stone of the Sun, the Pearl of Mysteries, the Pearl of the Heart, and the Stone of the Moon. So I'm going to start with the Pearl of the Sea, since that's the one we're getting first in the Siren episode on the 12th of May. This upgrade will give Ladybug and Chet Noir the ability to breathe and move underwater. In concept art, we can see the hero's new outfits, giving them fins and making their spandex look a bit more like scales now. This upgrade has also changed Tiki and Plague, giving them a kind of a guppy sort of look. Because of this, we can guess that the Kuami are changed before the transformation into the heroes. We also got some short clips from Siren in a Spanish promo not too long ago. I guess Spain's just been leaking stuff for a bunch of different shows? In the promo, we get to see them using the powers in action. And we get to see the sort of ritual used to get the Pearl of the Sea. Now it happens really fast, but we can see Marinette drip a sort of liquid off her finger into a pool. Then a bunch of energy gets launched back up into the sky. This pool probably belongs to Master Fu, since we see him in the background. He's probably the one even showing her that she can do this. Now I wouldn't say the drip coming off her finger really looks much like a pearl. It looks very liquid to me. My guess is that the drip is just like a tear of a kawami or something and it just has magical properties. The pearl probably just refers to the miraculous, the earring itself. And then it's just made of a different material now. The bluish teal color we see in the Pearl of the Sea isn't really apparent in her outfit, so I think it just changes the color of her earrings. The Stone of the Sun and the Stone of the Moon are very similar. Both give flying powers, but the Moonstone allows you to breathe in space. So I don't really see a reason why you'd want to use the Sunstone when you have the Moonstone, which does the same and more. But I have a feeling that the Stone of the Moon has actually changed to something else. You see, this photo came from a conference a while back, and a lot of the things from the same conference has actually been changed when it was put into the show. An example would be the change in Rena Rouge's outfit. There's a possibility that the Stone of the Moon actually gives out ice powers instead of space ones now. In another upcoming episode, we have an enemy called Frozer. And to combat him, the heroes get ice powers. We also get a super cool clip of a storyboard where Ladybug skates through a car. But ice isn't on the list. It could have either been added onto the five, or they could have taken one out and replaced it. And I think it's very likely they changed the space stone with the ice one. And going back to the sunstone for a sec, I think it's very likely they will get that in the Queen Wasp episode. Of course the stone is yellow, which matches the bee aesthetic pretty well. In a lot of promo art, Queen Bee seems to be flying. And that probably means the Queen Wasp can do the same. And it'd be nice if they combated flight with flight. Now the last two are very overpowered, and they're so overpowered that it kind of makes me question why they didn't use them earlier. The Pearl of Mysteries gives infinite lucky charms. And the Pearl of the Heart cures the Akumatized. Now both of these would have been super useful earlier. Got an Akuma problem? Just use the Pearl of the Heart. Cures that instantly. These two make me think that there's some sort of drawback to using the pearls. If there were some sort of equivalent exchange, positive, negative sort of drawback. Using these strong powers may take a lot out of the Kwame. This may make it so they're not always using their big powers, and it's more of a treat for the audience. The pearls could also be a one-time, one-use sort of thing. So they'd only use them in a last case scenario. There was also a theory floating around that each pearl corresponds to a different miraculous on the lower level. I was skeptical, but I noticed it did kind of fit if you turned them a bit. I'll be the first to say that this isn't perfect, but some of them do fit up pretty well. The pearl of the sun fits with the bee because yellow and bees can fly. I'd say that the turtle fits with the stone of the sea because turtles are aquatic. And the moth fits super well with the pearl of the heart, healing the akumatized. The ones I have problems with are the Stone of the Moon and the Pearl of Mysteries. Obviously the colors don't match super well, and also the powers are kinda wonky. Neither space nor ice really fits well with the peacock. 
And I guess the fox could work with the Pearl of Mysteries since they both create things, one being Lucky Charms and one being Illusions, but it's still not perfect. Another thing I wanted to mention is that this is really only covering Ladybug stuff, and through the photos we've seen that Chat Noir and Plague changed too. For the most part, his are probably going to be the same. The infinite Lucky Charms is just going to be changed out for infinite Cataclysms. I wonder if all of the heroes will end up getting upgrades. Though it would be really cool, I don't really think that's going to happen. But what about you guys? What are some cool powers you'd like to see in this show? And how do you think the other stones will change the costumes? Comment down below. Also remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, check out our Patreon. This has been Neo Shadow from Cartoon Universe, and I will see you in my next video.